What's up YouTube, Capital G here, checking out what could easily be the single most interesting card from the Infinite Forbidden Core Booster set. People are saying that it is Maxi 2.0, people are saying that it is the new Maxi, or some people are even saying, hey Cap, this is basically what Maxi would look like if we gave it an errata. And although that might sound like hyperbole or clickbait, people are like, come on, Cap G, there is no way that they are going to take the most controversial Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time, arguably, I would argue that, and make a remaster of it or a remake or really even make anything akin to Maxi. But sure enough, that is actually what they did. And believe me, I didn't believe it either. I got online. I went on sites like Reddit and Twitter when I woke up and I didn't want to believe it. I was looking at the card and I was like, Maxi, what the heck? They're not going to remake no Maxi. It's arguably top five most powerful card of all time. And sure enough, Konami is like messing around with it. Now, as far as the implications for the OCG, TCG, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel ban list, who knows what those could end up being. Obviously, TCG, OCG, we just got got banlist with them in the last couple of weeks but we'll worry about that a little bit down the line anyways this is mochumi perulia it's a uh, level four water aqua type monster 100 attack 600 defense so you definitely do have hand trap like stats where you know these hand trap monsters generally aren't good for any type of offense uh this one is not a tuner so it's not like the ghost girls uh, although it is one half of bahamut shark so that's kind of cool now in the ocg bahamut shark really not that great because they don't have totally awesome they banned that card with the uh you know when, when sprites was like really uh wrecking things over there however and the TCG, we still have Totally Awesome. So Bahamut Shark still has a ton of value. So you know, just keep in mind, this is like half of a Bahamut Shark. It says, during the turn, you activate this card's effect. You can only activate one uh, Muchumi Monster, not counting this card. So that makes you kind of wonder. People were saying like, hey, does this mean that this is a theme? I don't know if it could be an archetype because they probably would have revealed a bunch of the cards at one time. But yeah, this, this makes me think that there are more Muchumi cards coming and that maybe that this could be a theme. Uh, I don't know. Could it be a theme like the Ghost Girls where it's a bunch of them? You know, they're hand traps. They're all similar. Maybe Konami spaces them out every few sets or something like that. That, that could be what is in play here. By the way, the artwork is just uh, it's, it's pretty adorable. Almost from a distance kind of looks like a blue eyes card or I thought it was actually a prank kids card when I was kind of I woke up I was glossy out I just saw the artwork I was like oh prank kids card looks like um uh the the little water prank kid girl though the one that's crying but nope uh dropsies that's her name yeah, yeah but it's not anyways if you have no cards quick effect you can discard this card that is a cost apply these effects for the rest of the turn each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster or monsters from their hand or from the hand immediately draw one card so boom there is your instant comparison to maxi that is an effect that can activate obviously an unlimited amount of times just like maxi drawing a card uh yeah that, that's where the maxi comparison comes from the card goes on to say during the end phase if the number of cards in your hand is more than the sum your opponent controls plus six shuffle random cards from your deck into the deck until equal to that sum so i guess just to, to quickly kind of uh, put that into context let's say your opponent lets you draw 30 cards right but they only end with uh, let's just say they end with zero cards on their field you would need to shuffle cards from your hand because you have like 30 cards or I guess you'd have 35 including your opening five or really 34 because you discarded this card. Whatever. Let's just say you had 30, 35 cards in your hand. You would have to shuffle everything back until you just had six cards because your opponent would have zero plus six, which would be, you know, zero plus six is six. And that would be the total amount of cards that you can keep. So basically, if your opponent does take a, you know, max C type challenge, this card is not going to allow you to just have a trillion cards in your hand like max C does where it's like, pretty much guaranteed that if your opponent doesn't stop you like always win because you have a billion cards unless they have like specifically locked you out of the duel with i don't know they used to do gen lock back in the day etc etc anyways obviously machumi uh perulia it is maxi akin but it is not exactly maxi now one of the things that people will instantly point out is oh my goodness cap g this works on normal summons and yes it does so there are going to be some players out there, like if you're just a diehard Fluunderies player and you've just been like, ha ha cap, we don't even care about no Maxi, bro. What is a special summon? We don't even do that over here. 
yeah, you've been a deck that has been able to completely escape Maxi in all capacities, even if you don't play in the TCG where there is no more Maxi or, you know, in the OCG or in Master Duels. Like, you can't Maxi Flu Wanderies because they don't special summon ever. This card works on normal summon. So now, if you normal summon Rabina, I can just chain Perulia's effect and, like, are, are you going to just stop? I mean, if you're just going to stop playing and you're going to go Rabina pass, like, God bless. <laughs> I'll take a neg one for that. But if you choose to keep on going, you know, Rabina, search Eaglin, normal summon Eaglin, Eaglin effect, search uh, Impin, Impin, or, you know, tribute, summon Impin, activate some chain links, extra normal summon from Impin, summon Stree, do keep on, you know, normal summon, normal, num, you know, normal summon a billion times you will start giving me a ton of cards. And it's like, that is interesting that this is going to actually be, you know, this this counts to normal summon, which you know, all normal summons happen from the hand. But the other thing is, this card is not quite a special summon stopper like Maxi. Obviously, you do have some restrictions in this card where you can't have any cards on your field to activate it. So the idea of you can go first, make a big board, and then, you know, activate this against your opponent, that's that's not going to work because you have to have no cards on your field. And then obviously, you can't get unlimited cards. But this only works on special summons from the hand. Now, that is like important to note because obviously, all extra deck monsters don't come from the hand, they come from the extra deck. So if your opponent is link climbing, if they're synchro climbing, if they're XC spamming, if they're playing branded and they're just fusion summoning for days, you're not gonna get any draws from that. Also, if your opponent special summons from the graveyard, if they special summon from the deck, if they special summon from the banished pile, you will get no draws from those at all. You're basically just getting draws if they summon from the hand, not even from the extra deck if your opponent is playing like a pendulum. So you really kind of have to, you know, judge that because there are some decks like, I don't know, if we ever got Prank Kids back at full power, Prank Kids is a deck where after it normal summons the first Dropsies or Lampsies or something, they're not really summoning anything else from the hand outside of like, I don't know, Brave Engine or something like that. Basically, all they're summoning is coming from the deck and it's coming from the extra deck, and they literally won't have to give you a single card if you were to drop this on them. So it's an interesting card, and I definitely think it's going to be format dependent because I think it's going like this is not like Maxi, where it's like every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh needs a special summon outside of you know stun decks and fluunderies. Like this is a card where you're going to have to look at the meta environment. So can this be a powerful side card? Absolutely. If there's decks that need the special summon from the hand a lot, they you know I, I would say like the um the snake eye fire king deck is a deck that it does normal and special summon from the hand a lot you know it special summons diabella star and you're going to special summon poplar and you're going to normal summon and you're probably going to at some point you know maybe summon like a kieran uh during the course of your play or maybe like a garunix from your hand etc cetera, etc cetera. like that's a decent amount of special summoning this is not like maxi where your if your opponent doesn't stop you're getting 20 cards but I think that they tried to make it like more reasonable, obviously, where maybe at best you're getting like three cards drawn from that. That, that seems pretty fair. So will this card be played? I, I think eventually this card will be played. Will it be a staple like Maxi where it like completely warps the game and completely warps the format around it? Probably not unless it's like a very, you know, specific format. But I do, th I, I like what Konami did here. Now, you know, maybe they could have had it cover all special summons but that at that point maybe it honestly just would have been too strong but definitely a card that i think that we will see inside decks you know um very similar to i don't know a lot of the other hand traps that are not you know quote unquote staples like the bells and the ogres and stuff like that but you guys let me know what you think of machumi perulia is this maxi too is this fair maxi do you guys think that this card will see play you just leave it all in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always